right now, we have DJT going with Aftershock over Crystalline against Bone Shaper Snubcakes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he's not going with Imposter. He's going to stick with Bone Shaper is what he's been known for. Yeah, man. And we're talking about Aftershock. DJT was arguably the best Aftershock when the character first came out. It was all about DJT's uh, trimmer. And it's fun. It's fun to get to see it again. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, DJT just getting caught by the uh, meter burned uh, Hell Spark after the shoulder. Yeah, top 12%. Oh, nice catch with the 4-1. And it should be a pretty good combo continuation. Nice knockdown into the low. DJT big Oh, does it off the finish right the combo? Oh, my God. DJT, please. <laughs> oh, it's showing it's some it's suffocating pressure. Man. We bringing it back, boys. The, the, the glory oh, is getting by the back three. Nub kicks had to break that was gonna hurt. Yeah, break the minute, bro. Nub kicks not a slouch at all. Yeah, no, not at all. DJT, the credentials speak for himself. Yeah. Just trying to get a little bit of buzz on it. You know what? And I like what he's how we decided to go with that. The shot probably to deal with these uh uh hell sparks here. Yeah. Oh, that's nice with the overhead rock. Now let's see how he decides to end it right here. Ooh, a double stomp. The four, the three, three. You rarely get to see it. Wow, then the jump kick actually stuffing the health card. What a great conversion by Nub Cakes. Is he going to put it back in the corner? No, just want to push him away a little bit. Oh, DJT's off that bar meter. That could be brutal. Oh, and then the four one. And unbreakable just in case DJT. Yo, very clean. Very clean aftershock play. Mm. Somebody about to get mucked. Now Somebody here's the thing. You take, you take a look at what happened there. there. The, the, probably the saving grace for TJT were those uh, instant air or somewhat instant air ground shots, right? Mm -hmm. God Man. forbid Nub Cakes, if he jumps over one of Shut those up. and gets in, it's her, his turn to start the mix. The only thing he needs to be careful of, DJT is waiting to pull that flash parry out of his bag. He's sitting there waiting for the perfect time because once that happens, the fear of Flash Fairy will be there for the rest of the set. And DJT mm. knows that. That's why he hasn't used it yet. Waiting for the right time. That's what happens when you see a caliber of player like that. But Nub Kicks is not far behind. He's he's almost going toe for toe with DJT. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, man. Indeed. Here with the jump in, King. DJT gets the first meeting. I'll go for some uh, very interesting. A very interesting form of uh, zoning here. Yeah, DJT just keeping it away with the air, the air quakes and uh, the low rolling rocks and that. Yeah. It's hard. That is that was almost a punish. But DJT often the jump back. Oh, nice up. flash parry! Right and there's the, the flash parry. Wow, these strings I've never seen before. What is this, DJT? He's just, he's just trying to be different, man. Hipster DJT over here, <laughs> pulling out all the strings we've never seen. Yeah, go Flash Perry again. And right back to Flash the Flash Perry in the trip guard. How often do you see something like that? I respect Nub Cakes just using down one to get under the hot four on the string. Very good reads. Nub Cakes, very nice grab. Taking his time. And the EX Air Shock is. It's the game changer in this matchup. It really is. It's Nubcakes has to respect it no matter where he is on screen. Yeah, you're right. Especially with the length, the length of time that the hell sparks take, he's going to get hit regardless. Oh, very he's nice little hit confirmed there. Neutral jump kick to stay away from that forward one in the rock punch. Well, back one into the overhead rock. Oh, man. Okay, no confirm right there. No conversion. Oh, man. wake up, hell sparks. Oh, he's just the back dash. Grabs him out of the back dash? Okay, no cakes. No cakes on the verge of taking the next round, but the air to air conversion. No meter to make the guarantee earthquake. DJC, is that going to be a Oh, that's going to be checked. Yeah. 4 one, two, one and the rock punch is 100% a block straight. You take, you take a look at how close Nub Cakes get, and DJC just managed to come out of the clutch every single time. The moment he started that block three, he knew it was over. Just going for that chip damage, securing a 2-0 lead over Nubcakes. Yeah. Now, Nubcakes, taking a second to think about, is going to go ahead and stick with Bone Shaper. He feels he can make it come back, or maybe it's just his best matchup uh, in his arsenal. I want to 
would like for him to just take a little time to breathe a little bit. But hey, if you feel comfortable with the, with your character that got you here to the top sixteen, then by all means, use it. Let's see how it plays out. I'm a huge advocate of taking time to step back and calm yourself and reevaluating where it goes. But some people can learn on the fly. Maybe he's just trying to switch the momentum here. Oh, and no punish on the overhead rock. Oh, was not able to get far enough to get that confirmed by DJT to make it go uh, further to the corner. Okay, it's getting through. optimal damage here. 28% of the reach. Oh, oh, Flash Parry by DJT. Very good read. And again, the, the, the strength that we don't usually see all the time. DJT, that is not even optimal damage. This man's doing it for style points. I mean, you know what? I kind of respect it. I respect it. Yeah, you, know, you know, what good to win if you don't look good doing it? Exactly. Nothing wrong with a little style. Man. Yeah. Oh, beautiful jump out. But he misses the Higgins from messing up in the bottom. And the grab. Grab. Oh, Dealing DJ. that round from the case. DJT looking poised to move on to top eight. Like, really, very cleanly at that. We've been getting three O's and three ones across the board. DJT wants to be our first top eight finalist for week number three. Hey, but yeah, no case trying to get something started, but the point was freaking way too strong. Trying to set something up, yeah, but allows him to jump out. Get something started right here. No case just needs to get something started right now. Make a spectacle all the frames. Four and one in the rock punch. That's an anti air. Very nice. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh beautiful hit oh, confirmed. Switching positions. Very nice by no case. Keeping the pressure going. Why is he not going to do the full thing? Okay, whatever. Man. It's looking good by DJ T. Nubcase does not want to get eliminated, but oh, he boy, has the bridge being sent home salty. Okay, he, has to, he has quick if he needs it. Let's see what he decides to do. And the rock. EX rock, rock hand, rock hand rock. just in case. DJ T with a quick 3 0. And DJ T coming from out of nowhere to make top eight in the week three of the combat cup. Wow, okay. So we got oh, legends coming back from all sides. This is and I would game. expect nothing less than what I've seen by DJT. It was who's going to be the nobody in the beginning to come next and dominate. But ADM Fears, one of the few demolition Sonyas left, but Kinetic Smeege, or excuse me, Guntop Gaming Smeege. Yeah, Guntop Gaming Smeege. <laughs> he's been known, I think, to have, he's a record holder for how fast sets can really go. Oh yeah, man. I mean, you take a look, this man, just like 90 mile an hour gameplay with his Ethereal Molina. But he's just outplaying you, you know what I mean? Granted, I mean, she and a lot of her streams are, you know, pretty safe for plus. But I mean, again, like you have to play smart with this character. And he is one of the smartest players that I've seen. Oftentimes plays a little too safe, you know, and that, that costs him sometimes. But still, very good player regardless. Yeah, okay, I mean, this go. is this is pretty much exactly what we expect out of Samir. Just absolute, complete rush down anarchy up close. Yeah. And it's so hard to deal with, even as Demo Sonya. All Samir needs is just one more hit, and this yeah, actually might that. kill. Yeah, they cannot whiff that whole string against Samir. He will punish that. 10 times out of 10, not gonna let that slide, man. And ADM Fierce actually had some uh, good wins in this uh, this this tournament, this top eight. Like, he really did. Oh, uh, Fierce is no slouch. Fierce is yeah, absolutely man. no slouch. But you go up against this monstrosity of a player, it's it's tough. It's very tough. Samij is just, he's so fluid in his gameplay at one of the fastest paces we've ever seen. That's that's really what makes him so successful. He plays at a pace that's so hard to keep up with that maybe Fierce just isn't being able to adjust right now. Yeah, indeed. So a couple updates, guys. So this is Fierce's first top 16 in the Combat Cup history, season one or season two. Mm -hmm. And also uh, he is uh, clean. He's clean here, Fierce. So we can uh, make sure we correct, correct that, you know. So that's good, man. He's a very good player. It's gonna be good gameplay. That, that, that goes that goes right back to what we were talking about before. Clean Kill Gaming picking up a ton of players. This happens to be one of them. Clean Kill Gaming appears. Oh yeah, man. very good player, man. But he's like we said, just a dominant player, man. Just, I, I love seeing some of these plays. I love it. And you know what? And the great thing about Fierce too is that regardless of how down he might be. He's going to keep his composure, and he's going to wait for the right time to trade with those uh, stun grenades. Mm -hmm. 
Look at this, man. Just a barrage of, of buttons right now by some needs. And he's not going to let you out with the jump in punch. Time for some nice, sexy damage. Off of anything, Ethereal Molina getting 33% plus off of any hit confirmed. And it's just, like I said, just this suffocating playstyle. It's, it's almost unique. It really is almost unique. You rarely see it among other players and other characters as well. Yeah. Oh, nice with the EX telekick by Samid. What is this? All right. Here's the second to the last hit of that stream. And he had a ball roll by Samid. There we go. Just this 2-1 into fa EX phase. Grabbing him into the corner. Not letting Fierce take one step out of there. Inch for inch. Oh, got him with the, the slowest. And that's, oh, my God. The slow overhead. 80,000 frames. Oh my god. And there you go. Sage looking to set a new record in the fastest 3 0 in combat cop history. <laughs> hey, but that's conditioning, man. Just getting smacked with the overhead is very slow, but hey, you know, if it works, it works, man. And some, yeah, like you said, man, Sameed's working on a very, very fast uh, victory swipe now. So let's see what Fierce decides to do, man. Probably to switch to a whole different, different character. He did all the time, and this oh, is oh, no oh. exception. Mm -hmm. All right, so Clean Kill Gaming's Fierce going with Smoke as his last chance. Yeah. And it's going to be tough, man. He is sitting fully connected to life support. Hopefully we can manage to bring him back to life here. Yep. But like I said, oh, fight gets the first hit. The blender is real. Oh, but he drops the combo. Did not get the back to one to confirm. Deciding to get let that four three ride. Staggering it to make sure it stays as safe as possible. We don't want to be jumping at Smeej. That anti air ball roll is real. He is one of his to do it. You cannot jump at Smeej, no matter what character he plays. Oh, de definitely not. You too sound of a player to let that happen. A very nice ex phase out to finally get out of that corner. Tries to anti air. Needs to know better. Anti air Molina is one of the hardest things in the game. But Fierce, I mean, you take a look, he's already survived longer than most of the time, and that is not something you want to do against me. Definitely not, man. He's not going to let that go. Definitely not going to let that go. Okay, but good blocks by Fierce right now, but this pressure right now, just a lot of chip damage going on. And just the meter yeah, so building in itself. right now, not let him out of the corner at all. It's a beat. He takes that round off of just pure pressure. I mean, you take a look at how fast Smeet builds meter. He's using more meter and building more than what Fierce is putting out. Really. I could have got a better punch than that by Fierce, but hey, got the grab. At this point, he needs to take what he can get and just play things slow. But Smeet, it's damage time. It's damage time. Ooh, double rolls. Oh, no. Got the jump over punch. There oh we go, Smeet. Let's go, baby. Uh, uh, uh. Look at this. 34% again? Oh, we're trying to go for those kids. Good block by Fierce. Just all these staggers and the pressure now. Fierce has something to do. Samij is still human. And he goes for a simple mix. That wasn't even mix. He doesn't let the grab wait till the combo ends. What? He, he, what? He right back into the, what, right to the side? Wow. Point. What the Paulo, please. <laughs> Paulo. Oh, my God. Paulo. Paulo. Yo, oh, she's not worried about a thing right now. She says, I'm too sexy for you. Echo Fox finest right now. Echo Fox boss. Some may say this matchup could be shocking. You may say this could be shocking. <laughs> oh, man. She's going with these plus three. That one is a shocker. Yeah, ooh, even trade right there. <laughs> Scar just getting the mix started, man. Trying to open, rewind up the best way he can. And he is able to. Get the second hit of the four one three string. Time to go for a ride. We've seen it before. How's it gonna end? Oh, and there you go. The hitbox on that rewind. Still not really being able to uh, get any pressure going. Be that it was so far away. Mm -hmm. Taking his time, patience is a huge, a beautiful one under off the jump in. Right, that was good. What's he gonna go for? Okay, going for the grass. Trying to go for a chip out, possibly. Just down one, down one. Yes, sir. Rewind. Wow. Mm. As you can see, Rewind is already bringing the thunder this match. Oh, yes, he is, man. This is very electrifying, and I can't, I can't get enough of this. The air, the electric in the air, but he's not falling for the smoke and mirrors that is Scar's gameplay. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. The Savage. 
teleport, but here we go, the blender. What will it be? Hey, I'm trying to go for the overhead, but it's not working. Taking this time. Oh, you wow. God, that was so cool. That was sexy. Oh my God, I like that. That's what I like to see, Scar. Let's go. What you got, baby? Stagger after stagger after post. Stagger at both parties. Ooh, look at the look at the run combos. Very very nice run combos. Oh, no. And he's not gonna break it. Gonna Keep his meter for the third round. Very smart good. move. Now. This is interesting because Rewind has a good amount of meter. He just needs to be careful and not get opened up too early in the round. Yeah, but again, Star has a fair amount of meter as well. So we get some break if he needs to. This oh, like Star, to one more warning right through that gap in the meter. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's grab. Let's grab. Let's Star is going to be the death of Rewind if he doesn't catch on quick. Yes. Oh, oh my god. The best option select I've seen in a while. Well, you are using the EX teleport. What's the mix going to be? This is why it's just a force. Let's make something happen. But Scar, having such a big life lead, doesn't really need to respect anything that Rewind puts out. And the down three to close it out. Yeah, man. Again, just like you said, man, the staggers are really putting in a Scar right now. And Rewind just not catching on to it. You have to uh, be wary of that. You know, he's Rewind's not too far. He took it to the third round, which is more than what a lot of people can do against Scar in itself. You know, you take a step back and you, was, you look at everything. Rewind played fine. But getting opened up early in the round is what's going to cause you to lose your meter. And you need meter against, against not only Smoke, but Scar. You need meter against Scar. There you go. So he's going to stick with Displacer. Scar obviously being locked in the smoke. Scar looking just as just as dominant as ever. I mean, he's been one of the tyrants of the Combat Cup for God knows how long at this point. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, since since the beginning, since Combat Cup was born. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on. Match number two. Now, here's the thing. Rewind, I think what we're going to start seeing from Rewind more is a lot of uh, block strength in the EX teleport next up to keep himself at advantage. Because that's what's going to help keep Scar locked down. Okay. Yeah. It's really about. hard to do that when Scar just puts on a clinic of pressure here. And the clutch frame. Look at all this. Oh, nice. He gets paid right through. And Scar is going to get a pretty hefty combo in the corner. Rewind. It's not even about the combo. It's about the setup. What happens after? Where does that we go? This is what happens when you press the button at the wrong time against a player like Scar. You lose 40% life, at least. And there you go. The hit confirmed beautiful by Scar. And with some more staggers. Yeah, just trying to stack caught with the overhead. Oh, oh my god, Scar. It's a clinic of buttons right now. Button, button, button. And that's one of the things Scar has perfected this gameplay where you're afraid to press buttons and it almost looks like he he leaves an opening for you to hit a button on purpose and then punishes you for it. Just one step ahead for Rewind, trying to make something happen. Finally getting a bar and meter, let's hope he can do something with it. Scar, just taking his time with this mix here. Nice catch with the low right there. Very nice, interesting little uh, hit from there for 17%. But Scar with the back 2 1. Gonna offer some uh, juicy damage here. 31%. Oh, yeah, caught him with the overhead. Ooh, could have went into the uh, smoke bomb and got some more damage, but. Hey, Scar showing that he is not afraid of a Thunder God if he's a god of MKX himself. Ooh. Down one in the smoke away. This man is just pulling out every trick in the book. Hey, yeah, this combo will kill, man. Because uh, Rewind has no meter to break. It's going to be it. Back it up. Be it. Is the now a 2 0 over Rewind. Yeah. This is looking really tough for Rewind. Good question. No. So if Scar, if Scar yeah, does 3 0 Rewind, like, will he elect to call Sonic Fox with a grab? Uh, brutality? I, I don't know. I don't know. Sonic I mean, Fox Sonic Fox yeah. This is Scar's time to shine. He <laughs> Maybe keep Fox out of the spotlight. Maybe that's the game plan. I don't know, but, you know, Scar's a pretty selfless guy. He might try to bring his teammate back. Hey, you didn't get to enter the tournament. 
Maybe. I don't I don't care what he <laughs> says, man. There's no way with the history between Scar and Fox that they still don't have just a little bit of animosity bit of there. <laughs> Some friendly competition, regardless of if they're on the uh, same team or not. <laughs> but, you know, getting back into it, let's hope Rewind can run this back. You know, I'd like to see some uh, close sets going up in here. Rewind shows that he was down but not out just yet. So, elected to go with Hollywood Cassie. I wonder how this matchup goes. I'm not too sure, but we'll see. Well, you know what? It saw towards the second match that Displacer Raiden just wasn't making the cut. So, at this point, he wanted to pull out some extra character. Hopefully, it plays off, but Scar getting 29% in the knockdown. Playing at this strange pace between smoking in and smoking away and jumping over that's making him very hard to breathe. Oh, okay, nice down three under the fault one. Good stuff by Rewind. Trying to get something started. I mean, let's see if you can get some pressure going. Oh, and the reaction on the God. instant gun. It's just, you take it, stuff like that. It's just, it's so demoralizing. Trying to use any little bit of tool you can and having it punished immediately. And Scar with the <laughs> light. Scar just doing just, the, he's just doing the unorthodox stuff now. At this point, Scar is like, man, I got this man on till. I can do what I want to do. He's as confident as can be. No, no reason not to, uh, not to put in a little bit of risk in there. But Rewind finally gets some healthy damage. Keeping Scar on the corner. Scar opting not to break. Hold his meter. Hold on, wait a minute. There's a lot of damage on the table right now. If he can get the mix going, he might be able to actually take this. It's a nice catch. Wait, wait a back minute. Back was that a flawless? Yeah, that was. was a flawless on Scar. What just happened? Okay. What did Rewind right. just wake up? No. No fun intended? Hold up. <laughs> Scar getting the mix going on his own. Oh no, he didn't get the jump in punch right there. That was. Oh no, and a punish on the down one anti cross of the whiff. That's good. The back two one two, but did not confirm it to the flip kick. Down three, such a great tool by Cassie in this matchup. Notice there's a gap right there. Good back dash by Scar. Scar with the punish is going to be able to get a nice solid combo, but drops it. What is this by Scar? Uncharacteristic drops. He's, he's trying to keep some pressure going. Starting to realize that rewind is not ready to go down without a fight. Beautiful reversal flip kick as, a, as an anti-air. Here comes the mix. What do we have? Can he get him off the bar? Oh, that is, that's as tragic as it gets. Smoking out of the one extra frame gap. And that's it. And that's going to be it, man. Just the, the slow down 4-3 just allowed Scar enough time to fade through and full combo punish. Like, look at this. And my man no, just dancing a little bit. You cannot give Rewind, a, you cannot give Scar a chance to do anything. If you have him on lockdown, you make the most out of what you can. Right? Scar, apparently reading that, that's who showed it earlier tonight, that he knows the gaps in Tenshi's uh, pressure. Yeah. So he might be able to do some of this stuff, but again, man, Tweety. The guy that we you right now. One of, one of the things about Tweety that a lot of people don't give him credit for is that the man is so confident in his mix and in his reads that he, he'll let it happen. He'll go for a run-up grab. He'll go for a, he'll go for a down four overhead because he knows it's going to work. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it's, the mix is one thing. It's the follow-up that he's confident in. And that's almost what's, uh, what's really trademarked about Tweety's gameplay. Oh yeah, indeed. I mean, he, he goes in with immense confidence. He doesn't back down at all. You gotta love that. Oh my God, nice punish on the. Uh, and that's the confidence. He knew that Neptune was going to go for the EX uh, air slam. Immediately going for the one 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 punish. Okay. He, he sees Neptune's missed timing in the meetings. Catches a low right there. Oh, and with Smeej like timing, Tweety takes the first game. Kenshi wins. That's fast. That, that, that's, know, a, 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 that's, that's a statement to be made. That is that's that's not a statement to be made. That's Kotokan delivery, uh, Kotokan pizza delivery fast right there, man. That's, that's the EX uh, pizza right there by Kotokan. That was pretty quick. <laughs> it's at your door within two seconds. And that, that was as, as fast as that match went. But let's see if Neptune can bring it back. I mean, that was just a steamroll. He got steamrolled by a few right there. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's one of those things that when Kenshi gets his game started, it's so hard to stop him. 
Yeah. You know, even with the EX flamethrower to get that pressure off of him, it's so tough. And Neptune as, is trying as hard as he can, but Twee just plays at this pace that's so hard to um, deal with. Yeah. And there we go, not respecting EX flamethrower, just going for two one-up grabs in a row. Neptune taking the second one, but the third one does not get tight. Taking his time. Beautiful uh, grab tech there. Down four under the interactable. It's him with Demon Soul. All these demons flying out of nowhere. Kenshi may see. Kenshi may not be able to see, but his demons can. Just the forward two, and this is just, you see Neptune's health just melting away. You show little yeah, oh my god, with the run of Brad Tweedy. That, that, so this confident. is the confidence that we're talking about. Tweedy, Tweedy is in Neptune's head. He is, but the armor move, I mean, he got a nice armor move right there, plus five on block, why not? Use that bad boy. You know, just waiting for the right time to start his pressure again. Oh, the gap? Why are you doing the gap right there? What is this? Oh yeah, very few people expose it because the stagger is... Uh, the stagger, the forward two one stagger that sector has is actually very good. So when you follow through to the full string, it's almost like conditioning. But sweet Neptune is just unfortunately just getting mauled by Tweety. Yeah, Tweety looking real forced to take this, man. Let Sweet Neptune could just bring something out the hat right now, but Oh, this is like, the punish. Oh yeah, he did. I thought he had that. Neptune's not it. out of this just yet. He's trying to make something hey, happen. One more hit, and Tweety's gonna be able to take this game as he is, man. That's another thing about Tweety that we didn't mention, man. He knows his frame daily, man. I often talk to Tweety a lot because when I first started commentating, I was like, man, I don't really know all the frame data, but Tweety knows all the frame data. And I always tell him, like, bro, you're a frame guy. When I get good, I'm going to be just like you. So you, you want to talk about somebody who actually knows this game and knows the data? You're talking about Tweety, man. Tweety's a very, very great player. You take a look at what Tweety's been doing, and it, it goes so far beyond frame data. Mm -hmm. It's 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 ridiculous to see because there's a certain point where you get to understand the character past the frame data, past past the setups, and just know the spacing and the amount of pace that you can actually put on your own gameplay. And it's it's something that really the highest level of players have. And that's why it's so hard to deal with because you don't normally see it. But Sweet Neptune not out of this just yet. He needs to make something happen though. This has not been a uh, a very great set for him. Sticking with Sector, hopefully he can make something happen. Maybe throw in some up rockets as some pressure from full screen. Yeah, just haven't really seen a lot of zoning from him at all. Like. Oh, he's been opting to go for this up close game that really hasn't been working out. Oh, Ooh, man, down one. Wake up down one by Tweety. I'm gonna poke out of this pressure. Let him get his own pressure. Nice jump back punch by Tweety. And this should be a pretty decent combo, 25%. What's the setup gonna be? All this stagger in the down one overhead and the demon sickle. You show a Tweety. Oh, man, Tweety's just clicking on all cylinders right now, man. There's no facet of this game that's lacking at this very moment. This isn't just all cylinders. This is a V12 engine. Oh, man. This is going at full warp speed. Yes, it is. And Neptune just looking like a fish out of water, trying to get something going here. Okay, but great take by Tweety. Hey, if he can continue to do stuff like this, then he might be potentially able to take this whole set right back. But Tweety just looking so dominant right now. Very nice blocks. He has the life lead. And there we go, Neptune finally securing a round here. Can he secure a match? To get, he can put himself on the board. That's what's really going to help him here. If he can put himself on the board and kind of slow down Tweety's momentum, it can help him out. We might be able to see game five. Very nice scout there on the uh, EX overhead. Uh, he's trying to, but again, just Tweety doesn't mind using the bar because he knows he's going to get it right back every time. Now you have to take a look at what Tweety's done. He's done half a combo due to a breaker. But all these little hits, and Sweet Neptune is now done. He's out. Just like that. These little hits add up so quickly with Possessed Kenshi. And great stuff by Tweety. Um, moving on, we'll be seeing him play in the uh, top eight this week. Yeah, very great character. Very great player. 
I'm. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. I, I, I can't say it no good. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Illusion's going with Swords of Pawn against Kevo's uh, uh, smoke here. Yeah, man, the mix is very strong with this one, man. No one loses one of the best. It will mix up where other Swords of Pawn really don't mix it up, man, and I really enjoy it. It's very beneficial for him. It's going to be hard for me to not be just a little bit biased because... Illusions is one of my favorite characters, favorite people to watch. I mean, this guy, especially with Sorcerer Quan, just his ability to know when to take the hit of armor and punish with the combo, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. But Kevo is no slouch with uh, smoke. <coughs> and uh, Illusions really needs to be careful. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, trick? Wow, the savagery. Okay. That is a read and a half if I've ever seen. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Start with the 4-4. Four, four. It's played. Oh, man. Look at this. An illusion. An illusion. Not too Jesus. far off, but still. Being able to get that, uh... Being able to get that first round there. Yeah. Okay. All right, look at this. Oh, with the full run up by Kevo? Okay. But he started trying to move, but the 4 2 string is catching him. Great tag by Illusions. Not trying to get hit. Oh, got the hit, but no confirm. Oh, man. Kevo not going to let that slide. Jump over punch. Is he going to be able to finish this straight? Oh, no. Just trying to go for some more pressure. Oh, my God. The back three opens up. Now, here's the thing. He got Kevo off of this bar. This is trouble. This is exactly where you don't want to be in your Kevo. He's gonna finish his combo in the hard knockdown, get the armor portal up. What's Kevo gonna do? And the miss is real. Who is this? Who is this damage right now? Is this actually right here on the table? He has a chance to break. It, it, it is. Ah, illusion. Illusion. Stop with this ridiculous comeback. Stop. Uh, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. All it takes is illusions to get one, one hit. One hit. He has one of the he has one of the best comeback factors in the game. We've seen it day in and day out every single time this guy plays. Yeah. It's almost like when you go up against Can't illusions, cheat. likely does not matter. It no, really it doesn't. doesn't. To a certain extent, it just does not matter. Now Cavill's gonna stick with smoke. Um, really, not much else to say. S smoke. I think does a little bit better if he stays away from Quan Chi, but at the same time, Illusions put that threat in his head with that trance trade they did earlier. That wake up trance is now, Kevo is now afraid that's going to happen again. So he needs to be careful. Air is going to take the first hit. Illusions sitting on two bars a meter, opting to keep the combo going, won't break. Hey, but Kevo getting something started right now. Into the corner with the full four. Nice catch. Oh, that was going to be a nice combo. Good break by losers. Not want to not take that damage. Now, this is tough for Quan. Quan has a lot of trouble getting out of the corner, but it managed to work in his favor. Kevo getting in some nice damage here. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> oh, we went for the EX. I mean, it would have worked, but not looking to do that. But Kevo still is going to take this round. There you go. Very nice That's adjustment by Kevo. That was a complete light switch uh, change. Oh, the first one. Yeah, man. Kevo just looking good right now. Really clicking. But again, all it takes is a couple mixes from the losers. And he can bring it back. He's going to set up the money pit. Armor portal. Yes, indeed. Uh, fades right through that, right, right through that room. Oh, but you don't want to be out of the portal. That's not beneficial for you. Here we go. Goes for the optimal damage. 30%. Has Quan in the corner. Down one's out of it. Standing with an anti-air. Very nice. Oh, yes, indeed. Very good anti-air by Kevo the man. What is he going to do? He's going to look, let him go for the overhead? No, a little too early on the overhead. Nice late wake up by Luz. The back. Oh, that was actually the neutral killer. Right He's going to have to break here. Illusions on the verge of having the set tied up and Kevo just lets him rip. <laughs> now that, that's uh that's that's pretty crazy because if he would have blocked that, that would have been a nice full combo punish. But hey, sometimes you gotta do it. You know, you gotta risk it to get the biscuits. So, hey, so they you say. know what? If it works, it works. You can't yeah. knock it till you try it. And Kevo tying the set one to one, just like that. After what seems that illusions dominating the first game. 
Kevo they didn't even take the, take a minute to think. He knew exactly what he needed to do to change it. <laughs> so Mr. Aquaman in the background says a loser says Kevo in a trance. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna need you to go ahead. Do not entertain anything this man says because he's driving me crazy. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous right now. Aquaman, please. Please. So here we go. They're going to be sticking with the same characters. Illusion's not ready to give up with Quan just yet. Okay, man. So Kevin the Man really did a very fantastic job of uh, staying poised in that last game to take that game as well. But let's see if the Illusion's can bring it back, man. A couple mixes again, like I said, and they could be a totally different story. Round one. So here we go. Match number three. Will Illusion's go up 2 1 or. Two to one, or will Kevo end up continuing his comeback? Oh man, nice trip guard again. Or I mean, nice whip punish again by Kevo the man. And that's one of the things that Smoke is specializing in. You know, it, those strings that he gets to be able to move all over the screen makes it much easier for him to get whip punishes on, on uh, characters. Good, man. That too is the neutral killer, man. It goes so far, punishes it almost everything. He's standing on anti airs. Oh no, he gets hit out of the EX teleport. And there you go. Beautiful one two trance punish by Illusion. Oh, uh, it doesn't go for Wow, and no punish off of the raw block trance. And that's the spacing that we're talking about. These smoke ways and the spacing on Kevo the Man is just really, it's proving to almost be too much for illusions right now. Oh, nice day with him. Another stick. Take the round. This is what I'm talking about. It, you take a look at what Kevo, how he was playing in the first match, you look at how he's playing now, you can tell he made the adjustment. It's all about spacing out Quan's normals, but not being full screen, and that's exactly what Kevo is doing. Yes, it is. Yes, it definitely is. Stay oh, away from the corner. Yeah. Does that one have anything to do with that? Caught him with the overhead. Oh, the newbie fresh overhead. Oh, boy, nice. I like it. Okay, uh, uh, and this uh, is pretty uh. much going to sum it up. The one little meaty room oh, goes for the fully charged back three there, or back two, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Nice AJP, I told you, man, yo, Illusions is the king of you doing, like, the most random stuff, but it works. He, that he does is it well. just insane. And there you go, Kevo responding with savagery of his own. Here we go, what is the mix? In the blender, no anti-air. Very nice backdash to that guy. Over the the overhead, overhead in the trance, just letting it rip. Here we go, armor portal is in play. So Zonin takes Kevo's bar meter. That is huge right now. Hey, go over the over there again. How oh many times is this Zone going to get blessed? What is this? Okay. Okay. Is this game? Jesus, where? Okay, Yo. after this set, Illusions needs to book a trip to Vegas because clearly this luck is just, it's just too much. It's just too much. How many times do you see an overhead trance with no breaker in case it gets blocked? Who does this man, this man is as disrespectful as it gets, and it's paying off, and I could not respect it further. Flipping a coin. I gotta get respect every time. <laughs> like, that's one of those things, you take a step back. For someone like me, I almost get salty looking at that. I'm like, why doesn't that work for me, man? 4-4 four, four, so ball worked maybe 5% of the time for me. I'm no. like, come on, man. Like, really? Hey, man. Then maybe there's an art to it, man. Maybe I just haven't understood the art of the mix. Maybe yeah. it really is an art. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's a masterful art. You gotta master it, you know? It is. Yeah. You gotta perfect it. But here yeah. we go. Kevo getting the first hit, getting some decent damage in there. Just dropping that air grab. We gotta hit the last hit of that string right there and try to jump out. Kevo's gonna continue this combo. Now let's see what the mix is afterwards. That's what it's all about, right? Oh, a little oh, early on the back. Yeah. Overhead back one. Go into the overhead again. Just jump out, put him back in the corner. Ooh, still in the meter. I like it. Oh okay. my god. Look what a great that was a four and a half guard. And he's gonna take oh, more. He's gonna take more. Yeah. Here we go. What is it? What the game? Oh, I'm so fast by the losers. I told you, man. The loser does the most random things and they work. Wow, and Kevin goes for the break at the end of the combo. Not too sure about that. I don't, I don't know about that either. Not too sure. 
There you go. Nice reverse of that. Putting him back in the corner. Will Kevl smoke out? And he does lose. Ready for it. Oh my god, just jumping in the neutral. This man does not care about any ass you know what? at all. It's, it's perfect because he's scouting out these smoke aways with these jump backs and he sees once Kevin puts that in, he'll punish him with that jump back. The jump back punch. That's what we're talking about. The, the jump back punches are working. Trying to get something started here. Kevl getting some very nice damage on the board, melting away almost 40% of his life. Slowly taking away at that life. Chip by chip by chip. Nice punish with the uh, 111 string. Nice got for the overhead. Oh, no confirm right there by Loses. Uh, Loses trying to go for the overhead, getting stuffed this time. Hitting buttons after a block down three. Kevin finally scouts it out. Kevin's blocks right now are so on and point. Another man. trip guard. Kevin looking to finally take us into a game five. Yes, and we are. Good. And again, okay, here we go, guys. It took us long enough. We are finally in our first game five of the evening. Which is oh. insane. That is insane to be able to go this far without a game five. But you know what? This is this puts Illusions in a really tough position because it seems to be that Kevo has drastically adjusted to source of Quan. So it's really more of a matter of is Illusions gonna stick with Quan? Or are we gonna see Hollywood Cassie? Or are we gonna see are we gonna see um Brawler Cassie? Are we gonna see any other character besides Source of Quan? Too sure, man, but crowd. I mean, chat, let me know what y'all think, man. Let me get some noble illusions for, I mean, let me get some noble evos for illusions. Or hazard gamings what? for, uh, Hello, Kevin, man. Yeah, please. Now, illusions opts to go with Grandmaster Sub Zero. This is going to be, this is interesting because we don't normally get to see illusions Sub Zero. No. For one. But for man. illusions to pull out Sub Zero, he has to be confident. <laughs> Oh my god, but the jumping punch actually punishing the whiff down four by illusions. Well, again, here we go. Kevo, man, just getting the start off quick. And again with the ES slide, Kevo with a nice punish right there. And this should be a pretty sexy combo. Jump over, put him back in the corner. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's the mix gonna be? Yeah, I the ice cream trying to keep some sort of mix going, but Interactable use, it's just smoke is just all over the place. This back to one string is making sure that illusions cannot put out that clone. Exactly right, man. Back to one string, but there's so much work. Wow, trying to go for a raw spear. Kind of savage right there. Now, he, he has his work cut out for him. And there you go. The trade between the 1 1 and the down 4. Kevin went from being down 1 0. To now being on set point up against Illusions. That is a huge statement in itself. Now, can Kevo close it out? Yeah, man. I mean, two very good players, man. And that was a beautiful back grab into that ice cold. This has been great to see. God, that's not even... That's when you know that Kevo is actually in Illusions' head. But for him to let that trick work when that's not even a... It's a mix. It's not even a mix. Yeah, it's not even real. It's not a real thing, but the Kevin, mix. <laughs> this is what momentum gets you. It gets you the confidence you need to pull those things out and almost frustrates your opponent into letting those things work. Yeah, exactly. Wow, okay, yeah, back to one into the corner. Let's get there. Now, this is good for Luchas. If he could get some corner game started, he could take this to the final round. Good to do some optimal damage here. The next hit will do, and Kevin will not have a bar meter to break. Oh my god, down four into the overhead. Into the final round, guys. Who hey, do you have? Last yeah, game. Or either way. Last game, get hyped. Oh my god, run up there too. NJK, leaving him down. Hey, Kevin got through. What, what is he going to be able to do? He's going to be able to get the mix started. No good block by losing. There you go, finally getting He's something going there. Kevin. Wants to stay as far away from the corner as possible, buying his play ticket to the other side of the map. Yeah. Ooh, nice grab by Kevo. Okay. 
right? Pablo sitting on a little bit of the life. We definitely have some meter lead. Okay, four, four string again. Nice confirmed by Kevo. Jump over for it. Yeah. Where, where's this going to end? Still staying one into another grab. I like it. Illusion's not looking too good. Needs to make something happen now. So close to running into the right there. Oh, man. That's, this is going to take gonna do me. Yes, it is, man. So close for illusions, but great set by both parties. Who is he going to call? There we go. It is brutality. Who is he calling no, call out? Calling call nobody. I'm doing it myself. He doesn't need anybody but himself. Congratulations to Kevo with a nice victory over Noble's illusions. Auto Jackie. Yeah. And, you know, Monster Man, one of the best with his uh, character, so let's see how this all plays out, man. Now, Mortal Angel was no slouch uh, at the beginning of uh, MKX's uh, life. So we'll just have to wow, that was a ridiculous read to cancel the dunk kick and the teleport cancel the crowd. Yeah, that was good. Hey, ooh, okay, nice. Okay, so he's definitely wow. going to try to punish the, the, long, the long animation of the gunshot with the teleport. Yeah, that's smart. Okay, nice. Now, nice uh, like you're looking at a Mortal Angel who's pretty much getting most of his damage by grabs. Okay. Oh, we don't want to be here against Jackie. A lot of damage in that corner right there. Mortal Angel is playing like a savage right now with these teleports. Hellfire has some of the best Orange jackets in the game. By it. Plus two is everywhere. Oh, oh my god. The mix has to break. That was going to be death. Oh, man. Mortal Angel. Teleport ripping the grab. What is happening? Round two. Immortal Angel. And more tall. Mm -hmm. He got more damage right there, but okay, we'll take it. Yeah. They use the meter, put it back in the corner. Yeah, young monster, do it, do it white. Here we go, some Ooh, hefty right. damage. Thirty-six percent for a bar. Jackie's no joke, and the mix is still real. It definitely is. Oh, nice, got through the gap right there. Very smart. Wanted to switch positions. What do I? Oh, oh the hit to back. That was amazing by Angel. And another grab, keeping. The corner pressure in. Oh no, you don't want to do that. But had to get it just break. in case. And yeah. that is not something you want to do against Young Monster. You Let yourself do that. put yourself in the corner like that. You don't do that. Just look at this damage right now. Forty percent with a nice meaty four one two. Yeah, Wifey does it the best. Let's go, Young Monster. See what you can do, man. One round apiece. You know, here's the thing. Immortal Angel was playing great. But he right needs here. to pull back on the savagery. I yeah, man. All right now. He has to chill with those teleports, man. That is not how you're going to do it against someone. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, he could have got him off the meter there. That would have been really, that would have really paid off. Hey, All right, these, these, the meter? These teleports Wow, the wake up. What was that? Okay, so down three. I mean... <laughs> I think Immortal Angel tried to go for the, the guaranteed uh, EX uh, Hellfire, but your monster woke up with the EX back, back for one. That was crazy. I mean, oh, you can tell Angel just turning up the heat with these teleport cancels and the grabs, man. <laughs> yeah, I must say, he is definitely on fire right now. Yeah, I mean, some kids say that it's hard to put that flame out, man. When you get a momentum like that, that is going to be tough. This guy is mixing it up all over the place not even just with overheads loads not with staggers but with teleport cancels in the grabs or teleport cancels in the pokes man well that's young monster if he's going to come back from this he needs to start tacking these grabs they do say where there's smoke there's fire he's definitely is smoking the competition right now. i mean a young monster's getting smoked and burned right now you see the teleport in it down three you know and here's the thing young monster is using the meter to get out of these gaps in the strings but it's still not playing out too well for him. All right, okay. I like him using the Hellfire right there. It's very uh, smart. Use that. No, I like what Immortal Age was doing. He keeps jumping back with the threat of that teleport. Yeah. He has to stop doing the raw teleport, though. He has to stop doing that. Wait for you. Wait for your stamina to come back and then do the cancel if you have to. I'm not a fan of him just doing the raw teleport. Okay. Jackie below. Here we go. Time for some damage, boys. Next. Up in the break, he wants to take this match. And another teleport in the grass. There you go, just traded down one. Wow, and the disrespect Advantage. off the down one, young monster. Round two. <laughs> okay. 
Barzan. That would have been a nice conversion, actually. Oh my god. Oh, nice back there, there. But another one up there. Teleport in the grab. Oh yeah, trying, trying to abuse the staggers. There you go. Another block teleport. Young Monster is starting to, starting to adjust to all these teleports. God, he got the hit, but he's not going into the combo. I don't know why he's not electing to start his combo pressure after the hit. Wow, and that was actually a punish. Uh, Immortal Angel looks like all his only buttons are the teleported grabs, and it's still working. You have to be careful against your monster, because he's not going to allow this to happen for long. And this actually might, might take it. Jackie Davis is going to be within chip territory here. And there you go. No breaker, nothing to push back. And the brutality. Oh, he doesn't go for the brutality. Yeah, I thought he was, was going to go for the brutality Another as well. Game. I'm not too sure why not, but hey, it's okay, man. Just take, take the game. Jackie the game. wins. This, oh, is, this is interesting because as well as Angel has been playing, I mean, Pretty Young Monster nice. just, he adjusted so quickly. I mean, that was the easiest adjustment I've ever seen. I mean, he's now sitting 1-1, one, one, sitting super comfortable, you know, backdashing through all the gaps in the strings. The only thing he has to work on is tech and grabs, but even eating all these grabs, he still took that match, which says a lot. Yeah. But Immortal Angel gonna stick with Hellfire. So, maybe he can make a few adjustments. Immortal Angel, the, really, the only thing that he's missing right now is full damage combos. You know, yeah. he's getting these clean jump ins, but he doesn't feel confident enough and he just drops it and goes for a grab instead, yeah. where he could be getting potentially, you know, upwards of 36, 38%. Yeah, indeed. I don't know why he's not doing that, but he definitely needs to. It's more, it's a monster. Wow, okay, using the Hellfire to stop that armor move. Pretty smart. Here you go. And that's something that you haven't seen too much. A lot of lows and overheads. He's going for a lot of teleports in the grabs. Now he's going to start incorporating the mix. Oh my god, the savage. Duck on the grass, he knew it was coming. That was a great punch. And the break, a very questionable break, actually. At the end of that combo there. What the? Okay, yeah, so right back to the oh, other side. Another attack there. Alright. Yeah. Oh, no conversion? Oh my god, you gotta convert that. You can't let that slide right there. You know, he's up he's letting his plus frames do the talking, getting these. Uh... That was nice. That was a very good. There you go. I was about to say a moment too soon, and Young Monster actually could have broken that, but thankfully he did it before the stamina came back. Immortal Angel securing round number one. Yeah, Hellfire not doing a lot of damage, but we're definitely trying to condition Young Monster right now. You can't stand still against Hellfire. No, and that's it. You can't stand still as Hellfire, and that's really what Hell. That's really what Angel was doing so well. He's moving all over the place and making it hard for Young Monster to really lock him down. Well, put yourself in the corner. I'm not a fan of that, okay? But hey, Immortal Angel is everywhere right now. He's doing savage things. I mean, this is what we're talking about. He's playing at a fast pace regardless of what happens. I mean, this is exactly what we're talking about. And just as Young Monster has adjusted, Angel switches up his gameplay. And this is a really decisive game number three. Wow, okay, so yes, yeah, so Angel doing work right there. Looking real good in that game. Definitely adjusted a lot better than he did the other game. That, that awarded him a nice win right there. So, now, yeah, our, oh, my bad, I'm sorry, No, here's, here's what's interesting. Being that Sonic Fox didn't beat himself, he lost out on a decent amount of points. If Young Monster comes back and wins this, he's going to actually shoot ahead of Fox in points, which is a big deal. That's a big deal, regardless of how early in the season it is, because Young Monster has been known to not only win combat cups, but been known to beat Sonic Fox in these combat cups. So if he has the leg up now, that's going to really, that's going to pave an easy street for him as it goes on later on, as in the season. Oh, it definitely is. He's definitely shooting up the rankings, baby. Most definitely. <laughs> okay. Hey, I hate you, so <laughs> I love you too, Big <laughs> <laughs> So here we go, Young Monster. Finally getting something. He really, here's the thing with Young Monster. He's doing everything he can to get the big damage. But maybe if he starts working a little bit more on the little punches. A couple grabs here. Beautiful those neutral zone punches. That was, that was a ridiculous conversion. Come strong. 
That I mean, you saw how low Angel was to the ground, and he's Young Monster still managed to put in two stanky legs. Yeah, as optimal as it gets. Oh yeah, man, the optimal king for sure with Jackie. Okay, yeah, the one two leaving him standing for another mix. Try to get out of there the back two. Gonna catch him. Wow, oh, very man. nice read on the ex slide there. Young Monster showing that Shotgun is really. Really paying off right now. Yeah, it is. Nice catch with the NJP. That's what it is. That's that. That's it right there. That was the quickest. That was so fast. We're going on to another game five. That may have been the quickest game of the top sixteen. That was incredible. We're going oh on. Oh my god. To okay, we're going five. to another game five in top. Yeah, season. this is the second let's game go. five in a row. I'm ready. I, I'm ready. There is a new king. Oh my gosh, let's go. This is this is interesting because now he is locked in the shotgun. All right. Angel has the decision to make whether he wants to stick with Hellfire or go with something else. If he sticks with Hellfire, which it looks like he is doing, it looks like, yeah, he is going to stick with Hellfire. The only thing he needs to do now is adjust to Shaka. Not just, not just Young Monster, not just Jackie, but Shaka. Yeah. That's what he needs to do. Otherwise, Young Monster is going to take this. Yeah. Because after that match, he shows that he knows how to play shotgun versus hellfire. Indeed, man. So let's see how this plays out. And remember, finally, finally, that's a first. Finally. The winner of this will be playing Tweety in the top eight on Wednesday. What, what a prize. You get the top eight, you got to play against Tweety? Oh my god. Hey, the you have to the break there. Oh, and the first tech grab we've seen all set. Oh, there's pressure right now. Oh. If you would have got the jump head punch, it would have been a combo conversion. Where are the conversions from? Oh my god, Immortal Angel, please. If you convert these combos, you'll be doing much better. This, this match, this set, was, this round would have been over if Angel converted off. Oh, the mix is real. Okay, yeah, yeah. One more mix and it's over. Oh my god, the back four, too. A young monster with the damage in the corner. Here comes the standing reset. Oh, yes, yeah, what yeah. What's the mix? Oh my god, two, three, three. My favorite string in the game. High, it's low, low. I think the only string more deceptive than that is Reptile's back one down for it. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Oh, Definitely. get caught. This is going to do some big damage, even without the meter. Depends on how he decides to work it. Okay, down for it. In the back two. The Mortal Lane is getting as much damage as he can into the ground. EX. Very, very nice. Turning up the E here. Angel not ready to let go. Hey man, it's going to be guaranteed pressure right here if you still take it. Should be close. Yeah, I like that. Just get closer, you can chip out. There you go. That's just where it was. Teleport chip, and we are going into the last round of game five. Last, Angel, last game of the advantage. Who's going to fight Tweety on Wednesday? Oh my god, last game, guys. Who, who's going to take this? But again, man, to confirm, I know he's trying to go for the pressure, but oh my god, the train. That was, god, that was that weird. Was that was weird. There you go, had to break. Good news for Young Monster. Angel just set a Young Monster on fire, really just going for the little bit of damage this time. Now look, like Angel is doing a lot of work right now, but the scary thing about it is if Jackie gets two, three touches, man, it could be a wrap for Angel. So he has to be careful. Oh, there you the go. Game here's defense. And Young Monster is off of his meter. That is huge. Get caught That's it. That's going to be it, actually. He's going to take it. That's it? Fine. Yeah, that's Angel it. Angel pulling Ooh, off the nice. and the tea bag. Ah, the disrespect at the end by Angel. Oh, man. And Angel moves on to top eight. His first top eight, I believe. We're going to see, man. A couple spots left. So here we go. Predator getting the first save of the sheet, making sure he keeps all the zoning ready. Oh, oh, nice catch with the NJP. A little lo longer range because of the, uh, the falls on the end. So very good stuff, man. They're trying to get this mix started in the corner, but Tanya, I mean, sorry. He found I'm not going to let that happen. Oh, just misses the hit from there. Sunio, unfortunate drop. A nice back there. Yeah, yep, I won't Got fun at that turn. Oh, no trip right there off of the air glitch. And he's holding so hard to punish that trip guard right there. The ball ring. She falls. Back to the nice. corner. You didn't hit. Easy 32% for studio. They're trying to get the mix started, but everybody blocks that pretty well, and I like it. 
go. And the zone is just chipping piece by piece. Wow, that's hold on, too. This actually, this might be it, actually. And it is going to be it. Wow, what a great catch by Sunio. Now, that was a... That was perfect for Sunio. The only problem is he just down to the position of Ken Federer. Not a good idea. So he, that's why he's putting the pressure on right now. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want Rashid to get the zoning game going. But now Rashid. Oh wow, that was a beautiful new to jump. This one to the MJP. Your execution boys. That looked like that was almost a tight link. Yeah, it looks pretty tight. I think it probably was tight. Oh, there you go, Sunio with some pressure on his own. Oh, with a little bit of mix there by Morrison Katana for the DX Blade. The 4 2 swing, just building a little bit of meter, doing some chip damage. Again, the 4 2 right by the low laser, and that's what caused, that's what cost him the first round. And look at this 32% back to the corner. That, that string by Sunio is going to be his saving grace in this matchup because the advancing, the advancing mids over those ground lasers is really going to help out. And as we just saw, taking game number one was easy for him because of that. That forward two string is going to be key to defeating his 10 Scorpion. Hey, hey, man, so Katana Nation, stand up, all of y'all guys. I know y'all watching right now. There is a new on your boy. The princess is alive. She's up one game, two more to make it to top eight. And Sunio is another, correct me if I'm wrong, that we haven't really seen too much this late in the Combat Cup. No, huh? No, we haven't seen him the, as, as much right now. But uh, hey, this is the perfect time to get started, man. Like better late, better yes, late the than the season is still me. early. Remember, this is better week three. Late. There are twelve weeks of this. Yep. This is the time to start making your name so you can become much more comfortable as it gets later in the season. Mm -hmm. So we're a quarter in. It's time for you guys to go ahead and get in here and work hard. Take this. All right, so Rashid sticking with his pretend predator, ready to let those lasers do some work. Studio barely getting the first hit there on that trade. 4 one, one stagger, there we go. Just opting to just go a little bit more crazy now, go for a little bit more of a rush down uh, style here. Okay. Ooh, wow, that's, a, that's, that's an finish. interesting conversion. I have yet to see that one. Oh, boy. Uh, he, oh, HQT. Man, all HQT has Perfect. different things, different companies. Trying to get the smart disc out there. Here we go. Dashing in. Oh, the trip drop, it just drops it. Back down through the big group. Drops, but he cannot touch Surio right now. The princess is untouchable. Here we go. Staff grab puts him back in the corner. Machine sitting on a bar meter. Oh, no, gets hit. This is going to be and the down one left is a no go. And Rashid, very nice patience. It that really seems scary. like, yeah, it really seems like these last ditch efforts, these last hits, are uh, coming down to the wire on both sides, man. It's scary. It's definitely scary. Well, here's the thing. You can tell Ray, Rashid, kept his composure because if he, if he was freaking out, if he was nervous, he would have been hitting buttons after that down one. But instead, he waited. He knew that down one lift was coming. And that was smart on him. But now Sunio getting a little comeback going of his own. Mm -hmm. sure, now there you go. Caught the trip guard that time. Wasn't able to. But out of this time. And now should get pretty good combo back to the corner. Wow. Okay. Rashid swiftly oh. taking the life lead. Oh, then just like you said, man, the 4-2. It's definitely going to be a big deal in this matchup. And Sunio very close to closing out the second round, and the grab will do it. Very nice. Uh, impressive stuff by Sunio, man. Very impressive. Round yeah, he tried to go for the anti-air laser, but it's just way out of range. Like him to not try to do that, actually. Unless he's closer. Oh, there's pressure right now. Final pressure. Back to standing one whiffs into these hit confirms. It's so... It's, it's an art to watch this, man. Katana's combos are some of the best looking in the game. Oh, yes, they are. Most definitely. Are. Oh, nice! Caught, caught the high lasers with the back three. Time for continuation. And, and here we are, going swimming. Studio oh, now up 2-0 on Rashid. 
to let the puns rise. Yeah. I, know there, I know there's another puns in chat. Let me go. Let me go to the uh, admin chat. I know we got puns for days right now. Oh my yeah. God! Swim team. So why go swim? Why? Why are you instigating them to come up with puns, man? Friend. It's been a long night. Don't do this to me. Come oh. on! How can you not like the puns? <laughs> oh my God! Oh, here we go. I'm waiting for Augman's mic to just cut in and just. Oh my god. Alright, so Rashid is now down 2-0. 0-2. Mm -hmm. Predator clearly is not working. He's looking at Flame Fist. Flame Fist Liu Kang would be an interesting idea. That is an interesting idea because at the very least, if he could take one game, that would give him the momentum. Flame Fist is a very basic character fundamentally. He's not easy to win with, <laughs> but fundamentally, if you can lock someone down to at least hold the block one, you could be doing some decent damage. Yeah. But he's kind of hovering over a few different characters, looking at Bone Shaper Shinnok. Going back to Luke Kang. I am a fan of him definitely uh, taking his time when yeah. thinking about it, man. I, I you, really you like that. You don't often see this that much. No, you don't. You really don't, man. And he's going he's back to his Ten after all of that. I don't know. I don't know, man. I know. I know how Rashid has multiple characters. I mean, he has Cassie on his uh, player cards. I'm pretty sure he can play Cassie if he needed to. Maybe Kodal, but I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not really a fan of this. But let's see how it plays out. I mean, you know he might know. maybe maybe he took a step back and thought about something he wasn't doing. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Yes. We go down four against the first hit. He's doing his meter. way to victory. Yeah, he's using all the meter right now. Now he's out of bar. You know what? One of the best things about history 10. Oh my god. Oh, just misses the hickam from that. Would have been so helpful for him. You fewer this. This is exactly and this is what he wasn't doing before. He was going for more of an up close game, dealing with the corner pressure, dealing with the katana up close, instead of just zoning her out. Yeah. Because you see what's happening with when he's getting in. Oh, and soon right now, so you know, the up close, and this, that's as heartbreaking as it gets. Yeah, we, we she had this. such a nice start. Yeah. We've seen this movie before, man. And Sunio was just definitely putting that bad boy on repeat. We've seen it over and over again, man. Oh, God. So unfortunate behind Rasheed. Let's see if we can bring it back. I mean, it's not dead yet. It's not over until it's over. We, we've we we've seen people come back from being down 2-0. Many times here at the Come Back Up. Indeed. Indeed. So that's a nice 34% there. Keeping them in the corner. Down one lift. My God, I love the savagery. It's, it's just so nice to see it actually pay off. <laughs> And there you go. Like I said before, that forward two string is a godsend in this matchup. And the threat of it alone to be able to stop Rashid from spewing out lasers is what's really helping out Sunio. Now Sunio's in the corner, but if he gets one touch on Rashid, he can change this around. Oh my! Oh, just misses the hit confirmed. Oh, look out for the four foot. Ooh, and there okay. you go. That's gonna take it. The smartness Ooh. being smart enough to track her in the air. Yep. Studio and Rashid. Game number three. Can Rashid put himself on the board? Finally caught the trip guard by Rashid. That's a good, good sign of things to come. Let's see what he can do. There goes oh my, oh my god, that was so beautiful. That was nice. That's gonna be a nice combo. A lot of corner damage. Uh, Down two in for the staff grab. Puts him right back in the corner. Three. Slash it right through in the first game. There you go. Very nice blocks by Red and Leafing. You know when you're playing against Blake, you're going to be seeing a lot of fundamentals right now. So yeah, look at this. One of the best when it comes to fundamentals. Wow, look at that conversion. Okay, that was kind of nice. I like that. Okay. The X Spear, I wonder what that was for. Oh my, jump back to the go teleport. This man is a god. Please. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, man. All right, so Jago Blake putting one round on the board right now. Okay. It's kind of safe, but it's okay. Okay, it gets hit. Oh, wasn't ready for that ninja jump punch to connect. No conversion right there over that teleport. That would have been insane. Oh, yes, it definitely would have been. Whoa, nice down two by Blake. Down two again by Blake. This is the fundamentals we're talking about. The spacing and the anti airing is just insanely on point. Oh, 
gets clipped by the overhead. Red leaves. He wants to do some damage. Jago Blake having the break. And this is what we're talking about. He is fully content in letting you make a mistake on your own. Any air. Oh my God, by Blake. Blake just mixed it up really good right now. All the decisions by Blake are paying off. Oh my God. God. Oh my goodness. And that is a statement if I've ever seen one. The quickest 1-0 lead, I think, here in the top 16. Next. Oh, let you know. The first one is the DJ O6. I am so... I'm in awe right now. Like, what we're seeing right now is... This is, this is like the upper echelon of fighting game. Not just MKX, not just Killer Instinct. This is what you would see in, like, the god tier of fighting game players all around the world. Blake has that. That is incredible, man. Blake just... Whew. Okay. All right, but let's see if, let's see if Reva Leafy can bring it back, man. I mean, yeah. Red Leafing is no slouch. We all know this by now. You know, mm -hmm. he's had his fair share of victories. He's had his fair share of high placements. But Jago Blake is a force to be reckoned with. He's, the fundamentals are really tough to get around. Yeah. He's perfected his own way of playing in Jitsu Scorpion. Indeed, man. Indeed. Oh, okay. Try to go for the stance with Annie yet. Yeah, now we're just. Oh, uh oh, just misses. Nice whip punished by Red Leafing. Trying to get the punish, but it's just not working, man. You see, what Red Leafing is picking up now is that Jago Blake is trying to go for a lot of anti air, so he's faking him out. Yeah. And this is what that's what's hurting uh Jago Blake right now. Mm, run up with the low stream, nice stuff by Reva Leafing. Reva Leafing gonna take it. Ooh, nice, nice jump, jump okay. back kick. That's that's the kind of stuff that's gonna help Jacob Blake keep his head above water. Yeah. It's stuff like that, the reacting to that, and not only that, but you gotta get those punishes. Yeah. I should have went the back three there, probably got the punish, but, yeah. but here we go, nice little combo. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, open here, two second, wing, man. really good for Jacob Blake. But it was smart for Revit Leafing. He let go of the control. He didn't want to give Blake any more meter than he had to, despite the fact that he actually had one. Oh my god, the EX teleport actually clipping it on the second game. Here we go. 22%, keeping him standing. Look at the mix, the pressure, the blocks. The blocks are there. Oh, okay. If I was going to the NJP right there, but what's up by Revit Leafing? Ooh, nice down two by Blake, okay? That's a good presence to mind to know that there is a significant gap in that string. Again, man, Blake. Down with the twos, do not jump on Blake. Fundamentally. That leaping, not out is just yet, though. Just trying to get something started. Nice little 13%. Okay, hold on. coming out to the wire, though. Okay, ooh, nice break. I nice break my break. Oh, oh man, man, just get that instant <laughs> air drill. It is all with the four and two. Hell, Blake is not happy about that. Definitely not, man. <coughs> Definitely not, bro. Now, for the longest of time, you know, we people who've been in the Mortal Kombat community, they always say, well, it's all about the mix. It's just so 50-50 heavy. Like, this just goes to show, man, that solid fundamentals will definitely take you very far in this game. Regardless of how 50-50 heavy the game is, you still have to have great fundamentals when you play this game. It's imperative. It is imperative. Know what? Jago Blake, unfortunately, fell short in that second game, but we have to talk about how great Revit Leafing is with his patience because he knows that once he gets in, he's not allowed to stop. He is not allowed to stop. He cannot let uh, Jago Blake get his game started. But getting in is the tough part. Okay. We're going to be seeing a lot more grabs from uh, Jago Blake, I think. <laughs> nice back too. Okay, I think we might have found a... A matchup thing right there. That might be something that he there needs to start doing. Switching positions, another grab. This is exactly what Jago Blake needs to do. Yeah, got to fish for that back two some more. Oh, getting clipped by it. Oh, shoot. You don't want to see time you're getting started because every time it's going to be close to high 20s, low 30s. Oh, and a little bit of a wonky hitbox there. Oh, what is that? There you go. The next hit by Gamer Blake will do it. 
other day I would have had my Red Relief in okay. Tough. All right. We have to give Red Relief your props for that. That was insane. Yes, that was the perfectly timed down one if I've ever seen it. Yes, Whoa, oh, hitboxes, Paulo. Where, where was that hitbox there? He almost got the conversion. That would have been insane. Oh, punish that. Okay, oh, punish that. There you go. You can't get anything going there. It's got to go for the back three, so it connects. Ooh, the second hit of the uh, EX uh, teleport. What's the mix? Here's the blender. Going for stagger pressure. Oh, and that string, I honestly don't even know. That in beautiful presence of mind by Red Belief and by teleporting out of that. I have uh, Jacob Blake's EX teleport. Ooh, the second hit it overhead. Try to move, possibly. I don't know, but good stuff by Blake. Getting the blender started. Keeping it simple. The simple mix works. Both players just trying to scramble. Game of Blake wants to go up 2 1. Has to stay in the middle of the round. Oh my god, trying to move, but it's just not working. There you go, scouts out the armor. Oh my god, nice catch with the second teleport. And that is the patience that we're talking about. One of the best in the business for waiting, even when the. You're on a pixel of health. Oh my god, god that was crazy, bro. I love this game. Oh my god. You you take a look at just how much of a treat is to watch some of these players. Oh, down two by Red Elite. They're showing. He dumped and punch in the down two again. Another punish. We were so much in awe, we almost forgot that Red. Wait. Wait a minute. Do not count this man out yet. Do not count this man out yet. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Do you hear the guy on music play? Oh, my God. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, he got a lot of work to do. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 I couldn't even say anything. That's the point of my back. Oh, my God. Ooh, and there you boy. go. Red of Leaping is now up. Over uh, up two one Bro, over Jacob Blake, Blake. but that, Jacob that Blake is not out of this. He is not. Re he is not gonna crack on this. Not yet. Oh man, that. I'm pretty sure Blake would definitely yeah, go back home with uh. With it just that was insane, dude. Though that almost come back right there. That's what you live for when you watch fighting games. Like that's the stuff that really makes <laughs> you go, wow. I love this community. That was amazing. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. I want to see this night end with a, end with a game five, man. I want Jago Bank to pull through this, but Red Leaving is playing out of his mind. But the savagery of the... Ooh, oh, my God. Play. He got it. Oh, my God. That was so clean. Please. Uh, you can tell he is not ready to give up. Unfavorable. Don't put yourself in a corner like that, Blake. That's not smart. Red Leaving taking yeah. advantage of the situation here. A little stagger, a little, little shimmy right there. Okay, nice block by the forward, too. Oh, oh, that is not something you want to do. Three bars instantly. Here we go, and the mix is there. Revit Leafing getting some big damage in here, but he dropped the combo. No, we got a bit of punish in that. Oh, my. Oh, and the EX lifting her up in the air. Revit Leafing on set point to make himself into the top eight. If it was anybody else but, but Revit, I, I'm telling you, man. I, I kind of think that Blake probably could have pulled this out. I don't know, but it's not over yet. I, what, what am it's I not, talking about? not count Jacob Blake out. What am I talking about? I don't even know what hitbox that was, but that was ridiculous. Me either. He's taking his time down four, trying to get some hit advantage to get some pressure started. Hey. Like we said, Jacob's patience is completely unmatched. Okay, you gotta be careful. Yeah, the drill. You gotta look out for the drill. Revit Leafing looking to close this out. Oh, it was a good grab. Oh, no problem. And another missed, some, another missed punish. Revit Leafing taking it over Jacob Blake 3 to 1 to advance the top eight. Oh, G.